Avengers, 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 Avengers. You doubted me. You all doubted me. And then in comes the true hero, Rom. Rom Space Knight saves the day, just as I said he would. All hail Rom, greatest of the Soul Star Order. Rom! Avengers, Avengers, oh. Avengers, Avengers. First off, I have a cold. Yeah, second. Okay. So I look miserable and I'm going to keep blowing my nose throughout this, but I have a grin. Three miles wide, 3,000 miles wide. I love you, 3,000. I love you, 3,000. Mm. Okay, so we need a spoiler cut off. Yeah, so we're just going to set this off right right off the bat here. The movie was great. It stuck the landing. There it are stuck a few, the landing. There are a few little problems here and there which we will get into in the spoiler section, but honestly, it works. I think I think someone in a spoiler-free review, I can't remember, maybe Dan Olson, suggested that uh, uh, the Russos are the kind of directors who care more about feeling than logic. Oh. And 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 sometimes, yeah, f feeling is better than logic. And it... Right there. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Movie was great. If you had qualms with Infinity War, I think this one makes up for it. It's... It, it's really freaking long. <laughs> Avengers, Avengers, Avengers. But it's really good. Avengers, Go see it. Avengers, and now, Avengers. let's talk spoilers. Okay, this is the point of no return. We are going to be talking spoilers. So if you don't want to get spoiled, you stop this video right now and maybe go and click the I for another video of another vlog or perhaps maybe an episode of Idols of Anime. Maybe another episode of this guy's show. Maybe something completely different. But please, not something completely different. I need views. Yeah, watch Idols of Anime. Uh, watch Linda. Watch. Just watch Any Idols of Anime. Anyway, spoiler cut off now. Oh my god, a mouse saved the day. The mouse saved the universe. Kind of fitting because Disney owns this. Or the rat. Rat, mouse, who cares? A rodent saved the day. I mean, the rat would care. Okay, it, it would have. It saved the day. If that rat did not exist, then nothing would have happened, and everyone would have just lived with half of their universe gone, and uh, no one would have their, their uh, half their friends are gone. But seriously, you want to know how uh, Ant Man gets out the quantum realm? A mouse stepped on a controller and he got out. Which, by the way, if you have not seen the post credit scene for Ant-Man and the Wasp and, and Captain Marvel, you will be so confused by the beginning of this movie. Yep. Uh, so Captain Marvel's there and she's way too OP for everyone. But I don't care because that was awesome. Because she's just like, what the hell happened? Okay, I'm going to be patrolling the whole universe. Do your thing. Then she comes back whenever she needs to and sometimes talks, like, you know, emails in. But, yeah, she's just way, way OP. Super OP. Captain Marvel's the one who saved Iron Man and, uh, uh, and, yeah. and Nebula. I was expecting it to be Valkyrie, honestly, because we knew that Valkyrie was going to be in the movie. Yeah, but she's uh, turned out Valkyrie's in New Asgard, which is in, like, Norway. Okay, so let, let, let's, let's start at the beginning here. We, the movie begins about 28 days after the snap. Things are still in chaos, but but the Avengers are just gathering. Once everyone is finally back together again, the plan is okay. We track down Thanos. We get the we get the gauntlet back, and we just unsnap. We just use the power stones to bring everyone back. And they detect an energy signature of the stones on this one planet. I can't remember the name of it. Doesn't that doesn't matter? Yeah. It's where Thanos ended up. The after. garden. The yep. garden planet. It's it where Thanos retirement. ended up afterwards. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then they're like. All right, fuck you, Thanos, and uh, ch chop. They chop off his. Uh, they chop off the gauntlet, and they and, and and he's like, yeah, I destroyed the stone so that I wouldn't be tempted to use them again. Yeah, and uh... and, and 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 thus and thus when they realize there's no way to bring him back, uh, uh, Thor goes for the head. I went for the head. And he was broken. We cut to five years later. Yeah, so time skip. One problem, I, one problem that uh, that is sad, but we probably are going to see movies set during this time period. Uh, there is uh, uh, there's not a lot of exploration of the world post uh, snap. Just the personal worlds of all the characters, and that everything is quieter. Yeah, and kind of messier. Hmm. 
But yeah, post snap, uh, Clint lost his fam, so he beca- he just started killing off people. Yep. Like, well, bad bad guys. Just- his logic was, was the snap this you know the snap took half the people but left you alive. I'm going to I'm going to deal with this. Yeah, so he's just basically going around killing bad guys, you know, cartels, gangs, yakuza, yep. stuff like that. Dressed up in his Ronin costume from the comics. Yeah, and uh, like Natalie's just like pretty much taking charge of things. Like she can't move on. She needs. She tries to plan. She's trying to find things. She basically has like has conferences with everyone now and then with Okaye and Rocket and. Now, we're not sure what's happening in, in Wakanda. I mean, Okoye is her contact, but we don't know who's actually in charge of the country with both Shuri and the Black Panther gone. Well, their mom. Presumably. Their mom, it didn't show that their mom died. So, um, I'm guessing, like, the queen's in charge. Hmm. So, it's probably the queen, if any, if anything. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, uh, and and I love how five years later her her, her first thought well, I say her first thought apparently she's just slowly dyeing her hair back red again. <laughs> well, it looks like it's more like when you know your roots grow out. She just lets it all grow out. Hmm. She just didn't even care about cutting off the blonde. It's just grown out because it's just it's a stressful time. Okay. Yeah, that trailer shot of her shooting at the target was not in the movie, but I recall the Russo's brother saying that uh, uh, that some shots were shot for the trailer and didn't make it in the movie. Mm. Uh, yeah, we could keep us on our toes. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Hulk is a more kinder, gentler, intelligent Hulk. Basically, Bruce Banner realized that the Hulk is 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 him. It's not a, a sickness to be gotten rid of. He has he has. Ex- found peace with the Hulk, so now he's half Hulk, half Banner. So that like he's you know bigger, but he's got his own intellect and he and he's got the strength. But he's like, hey, I'm the Hulk, isn't it great? Hey, check it out, I'm muscles. Grr. I wear shirts now. <laughs> he seems he seems much happier. He has giant glasses that fit his face. Oh, that's so cool. People take kids take selfies with him. <laughs> uh, Iron Man has settled down with Pepper, who was pregnant during all the events of Infinity War, and has a daughter. Uh, she Morgan. Was, she was not pregnant, and early because at least Pepper said that she wasn't pregnant. But event, but apparently they got they did get to the business of having babies. Well, they have a baby. Yep. Uh, Cap is running support groups for people who lost people during the war or during the uh, the, snap. the snap. Yeah, I, I there's probably a big market for support groups of I lost all my friends. What I do now? Mm. And yeah, life seems to be moving on, though it's you know it, it, it's not great. Yeah, like, uh, so yeah, you got little, oh, and Thor went on a big, oh, okay. So, so yeah, apparently the remaining Asgardians didn't make it to Earth, including Thor, uh, uh, Korg, Meek, and Valkyrie. Yeah, so, you see, Thor is upset because he did not go for the head at first, and that haunts him, and then he just kind of went on a, became an alcoholic, he got fat, he got fat he he grew he looks like lebowski he looks just like lebowski pretty much and he plays fortnite with korg and meek yes and yell at people on the comms basically he drinks noob destroyer 69 if you if you do not uh, 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 go, leave immediately i thor the god of thunder will come to your house and, and throw the lightning bolt up your butt yeah you cry to your uh, your mommy <laughs> There you go, oh Korg. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so they live in this bachelor pad, and Thor's just super fat now, and he's just like, oh god, whatever. I, don't say the T word, which Thanos. He has a lot of trauma from his mistakes, you see. Yep. And uh, beard and, and 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 hair grew out considerably more. <laughs> yeah, and oh man, who else was doing stuff? Uh, Captain America? Oh, yeah, you explained what he was doing. Uh, yeah, Rocket and Nebula are now basically acting as the Guardians of the Galaxy on their own. Yeah, it's just like kind of a space duo. Uh, Rocket's wearing a new outfit, which I can't remember. It's either, it's either the old Guardians uniform, like original Guardians, the one that didn't involve any of these characters, uh, or it's the current comics outfit. It's a, it's a black and red combo. Yeah, and, uh... Rocket is definitely... Rocket... Definitely feels more restrained. He feel he he feels after losing everyone. He feels more confident in himself and more and more, you know, realized. 
well, he had, determined. He had kind of had a lot of character development between Guardians Two and then uh, Infinity War and then this. Just, yep. And plus, he had five years of it. Remember. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm still surprised no one just kind of freaked out of a talking raccoon. Yeah, they just kind of accept. I mean, even even and Natalie uh, is like, look, I have a really weird and uh, bizarre plan. I talk with a raccoon from space on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just wanted someone to show Rocket a picture of an Earth raccoon and see his reaction. I know, I'm still kind of sad about that. Yeah. But, you know, maybe we'll see that in uh, Guardians 3, especially now that James Gunn is back. Yes. Uh... So, uh, Scott emerges thanks to a rat reactivating the device from the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp because the, the van has just been impounded in a junkyard. And he has an idea for a time machine. No, it's not a time machine. It's, it, it's a... um time machine <laughs> <laughs> and of course and and just they're like okay how are we gonna do this we need someone big brain tony's like oh hell no i got a daughter and shit i got a daughter and 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 i frankly i think this theory is impossible your recovery like this is a one in a billion chance they try and then they get like bruce ba banner yeah and then they actually get baby scott old uh, scott that's great scott. after tony figures it out how to do it he, he like shows up Scott turned into a baby, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's because of this. <laughs> oh, that's Al Tony. I peed myself. I don't know if it was when I was a baby or when I was an old man or when it was just me. <laughs> I guess they're all me. <laughs> Scott is great. Oh, God. Scott's love of Captain America is shines throughout this movie. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's our plan. We can't, we'll take the Infinity Stones from points where we know they are in time. There are three in New York in 2012 during the first Avengers Battle of New York. Mm. There are, there's uh, two in space in 2014, uh, uh, one on Asgard and uh, the Soul Stone and, uh, and one uh, uh, that uh, Peter Quill gets from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So everyone splits up, does their, th does their thing. Uh, the Avengers stuff, uh, Hulk meets the Ancient One who's like, I'm not giving up the Time Stone. But no. he expl he explains the plan, but she's all but she's all like no no because you're just gonna create an alternate timeline. Well, everything's an alternate timeline when you think about it. But she's but 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 then but then he, he explains well then why did well well if you had this you know great sacred oath to not do this to protect your timeline why did Doctor Strange give the give the stone to Thanos? She's just like, oh shit, huh? Okay, why would he do? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna trust that he has a plan. Hmm. Because she foresaw this because, you know, she's the ancient one. She knew yeah. that. She she knows Dr. Stephen Strange is right now, you know, doing a thing. We also see that she was battling, uh, 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 you know, the Chitauri as well during the Battle of New York. Because they were, you know, landing on the Sanctum Sanctorum. And she was just like. Yeah, making sure they don't land on her uh, house. Yep. Pretty much like. And which I thought was pretty cool. Yep. Uh, uh, that was cool. And uh, let's see. And then, and then. We we see oh, yeah. what happened immediately after the Battle of New York, after they confront uh, Loki or in the battle. Yeah, yeah. Where it... where the Shield Hydra agents came in to take uh, the scepter and Thanos into custody and all that jazz. No, you mean Loki? And Loki, sorry. Yeah, it it was it, it there was a lot between the end of that and getting shawarma. So mm. yeah, it was a bit between between that and lunch. Oh man! And, and 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 here's and here's Iron Man and he, and here's Tony Stark being all like, man, that that outfit did not flatter that ass. What are you talking about? That's America's ass right there. <laughs> oh God, so much affirmations that Chris Evans has a great ass. Captain America has a great ass. Just Rob, what happened to you? Mm, I just want to. Mm, mm, yeah. Okay. Got to fix Rob. Let's put you down. <laughs> Mm, that is... Mm. That ass, mm, as they say. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so it's kind of like almost a comedy of errors of trying to get the gems in New York. With one unanswered question, during, the str during all the fighting and everything that happens... The Tesseract gets free and Loki gets it while he's in handcuffs. And he gets it and he teleports away and we never learn what happened with that. Maybe that's going to be a thread for another movie. I don't know. Maybe that's explored in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and we just haven't watched it. But uh, but maybe that's a thread for, for a future movie. Yeah. 
And then they're like, oh, shit. Well, uh, let's go back even farther in time. We'll go back to S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, in the 1970s, where, where we know the Tesseract is inside this military base, where Peggy Carter's also working there. Howard Stark is also there. And, uh... uh get, you get some closure for Tony. Get some closure for Tony. And his dad issues. Hmm. Oh, Captain America fights himself thinking he's Loki. Oh, yeah, that, that was hilarious. He manages to knock him out using the scepter, and he's just like... That is America's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was really funny. Oh, no, the elevator scene where all the guys are like, I don't think you should be handling that. Because he's trying to get the scepter away from the guys. And he's like, no, it's okay. I think we need to call someone. And then... That's not necessary. Hail Hydra. Oh, okay. Yeah, he pulls the Hail Hydra because those are the guys from... Uh, what was it? What Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier. They pay. This movie is payoff for a lot of plot threads and callbacks. The time travel thing is just part of that, but it really builds on your uh, on everything that, that that we have seen so far throughout the MCU. Continuity. Yep. Yay. Uh, they knock out. Uh, they knock out War Machine and Nebula. Knock out Peter Quill. That was funny. as as he's he's doing the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy as he's singing. Uh, 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 Come and get your love. Yeah. And we actually see it from the outside. We're just going, Come and get your, your love. love. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Unfortunately, because Nebula is is back in this time period, uh, uh, she is, is hooked up to the same neural network that uh, old Nebula, original Nebula, is as well. So you have two Nebulas. And yeah. And so past Nebula detects her. Yeah, and past Nebula can see the memories of future Nebula. So, but past Nebula is also still full of hate and rage and and loyal to Thanos. Yeah, so. So she tells Thanos what's up. And now Thanos knows that someone's gathering all the stones before he can because of time travel. Yep. So so they they pull off a little gambit and and abduct her and replace her with past Nebula. Yeah, and. You know, Thanos is aware of his destiny because he saw it. He saw himself die. Mm -hmm. He saw he saw that he did get, do the thing, and he saw the mistakes in his plan. So he makes a better plan. So let's talk about the first misstep of the movie, uh, yes. and this is the retrieval of the Soul Stone again. Uh, <laughs> so this is somewhat better. Yeah, it is because it was. <sighs> It's still not great because it's still okay. So, both Natalie and Clint are, are go to get the Soul Stone. I don't know why they went to get the Soul Stone. Because I don't know why it was them who were sent. But anyway, they're sent to get it. Uh, they and, and both of them want to sacrifice themselves to get it. They fight for a bit, and eventually Natalie sacrifices herself. Yeah. And Clint he, wanted to, but Natalie's like no, and then Clint's like you know you and. Like, no to you. And they fight over it, and they knock each other out. But then she's like, just let me go. Woo! And she, he's like, no! And she's dead. And she's dead. Now, we know there's a Black Widow movie coming. They announced it. So we know she's coming back somehow. They they, they declared that, that, like, anyone sacrificed in this manner for the stone. Because Vision doesn't come back either. Well, maybe it's a case of a movie set before all of this. Hmm. Or hell, even during that five years. That's also a possibility. Uh, but as a result of that, uh, Natalie dies. It's it's a fridging. It's another fridging. Oh, like, I remember when Jess, we were talking to Jess, and she's like, this one is better than the other one. Because, because it's agency. Sorry, go ahead. Because it was agency, and, you know, it's not like an abusive, like, abusive dad says, I, I do love you, daughter. Now I must kill you. Mm. So we're like... I I need to do this for the betterment of everything. Whoa! Yeah, it's not it's not the universe saying that his abuse of love is real love. Yeah, it's more like love of friendship and the world and everyone, and you do this for them, even though it sucks that it's her. It's better, but it's still bad because it's all it's still about man pain. Because as soon as he comes back without her, it, everyone's all like, "No, Natalie, we 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 feel angst and pain for all of this," and it's just like. Yeah, and at the time, they were, like, the only chick. Yeah, I mean, he, he, and, and bear in mind, Nebula is not with them. Past Nebula has been snuck into the group. Yeah, so... So as, so as far as we're concerned, you know, the only female Avenger part of the team is gone now. Yeah. So that sucked. <sighs> Although, 
we did get some stuff to try and make up for that. The women, the hot women of Marvel shot. Oh, we'll we'll get to that. Oh man, that so, was the best. So they create an Iron Man gauntlet. The Hulk snaps his fingers, brings it back. Problem is, past Nebula is also along with them. Uses some pin particles that were retrieved to summon Thanos' ship through the thing. Makes it appear, and they unload on, a, on, on, oh, yeah. on the Avengers combat. I'm actually quite surprised that that place wasn't, uh, 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 you know, that no one died from that. Yeah. Plot armor. Yeah, because Scott, he was about to take a missile to the face, but he apparently knew how to shrink. Yep. Like, holy crap. That was something. And, uh, yeah, you got everyone kind of half in the thing, and now you all you have is, uh... Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. And Thanos just sitting there while Nebula goes fetches the thing. And is like... And then they have a fight. But! You got the best part. The part that made the entire, like, audience just go... Ah! Oh, before we... We gotta, we gotta explain this because otherwise people will be confused. Uh, uh, one of the things they did was Thor of the Dark World. What? Yeah. They went back to Thor of the Dark World uh, uh, and... and Oh yeah, I forgot Th about yeah, that. Yeah, Thor got to talk to Frigga again and she, are, she already knows something's up because she was raised by witches. Yep. Uh, and she talks to him, and it's and it's all sweet because he finally gets you know, some closure with his mom. But one of the things he does before he leaves, he nabs Mjolnir. Yep. And then goes back with it. And thus... Okay. So he has both the... Uh, crap, what's the actual Stormbreaker. Called? Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. And, like, he's fighting Thanos, both of them. Mjolnir's, like, tossed it aside. But then Thanos gets hit by Mjolnir by control of... Say it with me. Say it with me. Captain America! Captain America! Captain America! Captain America can wield Mjolnir! He is worthy! And, he... Thor, and Thor just looks... I knew it! Yes! And he used it! And he used the thunder! And the... the... Yes! Captain America can use Mjolnir! Yes! Theater cheered at that. Oh my god! You were like, yes! That was you. That was me. Oh god. That was great. It was beautiful. Oh. Like And then during the fight, because Thanos then apparently decided to bring his entire army along on this trip to destabilize the space-time continuum. And then what happens? And, 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 and then uh, the snap worked. Everyone is back to life again. Doctor Strange shows up, open them up portals everywhere. Yeah, you got armies. You got Wakanda's armies. You got, uh, you got my king. You got the Wakandans. You got the Guardians. You got uh, 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 more armies. You got more armies. I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure most of those were Wakanda. But uh, you had that. You, you had, had some spaceships. You had more sorcerers from from uh, from Doctor yeah. Strange. You got all the sorcerers from Doctor Strange. You got Valkyrie on a Pegasus. Not sure where she got that, but who cares? <laughs> it's like it's everybody. Even Wong is like, "Are you sure? Did you get every? Are you sure this is this is enough? Did you want more?" <laughs> yes. And thus, Steve Rogers says the line. One, two, three. Avengers, Avengers assemble! assemble! It's all I wanted out of the damn movie, and we got it. Man. And I'm, it's beautiful, it's exactly what I wanted. And the battle goes, but then she shows up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I noticed fairly early on during this fight, I was like, wait, someone's missing. Yeah, I was like, wait, who's missing? Oh, she's missing. So... Thanos decide, uh, Thanos during the battle starts getting his ass kicked by Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah. Because Scarlet Witch is back and she's pissed because Vision didn't come back. Nope. So, so he's like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> he's like, you will. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and so he's like, screw it, rain fire down upon them. And, and, and thus his ship starts launching missiles down at everything to try to blow everything up. The Wakandans and the Sorcerers do everything they can. But oh, then, but suddenly the ship... Ch changes their weapon direction and starts eight firing at the sky. By the way, while all this is happening, everyone's playing like a game of football with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yep. Oh my god. I actually had an idea like, okay, we play a football game, but everyone's in like Marvel costumes, and the football is actually just a stuffed Infinity Gauntlet. 
and we just play football like that. <laughs> Poor Spidey. <laughs> <laughs> He's just swinging around trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet away from everybody, and it's just like, ah! <laughs> and then, from down on high, I, 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 I wish, I suddenly wish, uh, uh, Immigrant Song was playing. Oh, man. Comes Captain Marvel! She's just too OP. She smashes through Thanos' ship and blows it up! She is a missile herself. And she, she goes head to head with Thanos. Literally, head to head. Because Thanos, head butt. Thanos manages to get the Infinity Gauntlet finally. He puts it on. He's about to try to snap it. She stops him. He, he, he's like, and he has a head butter. No sells it. Like, not even a flinch. He has to take the Power Stone out of the gauntlet, use, and use it in his other hand to punch her in order to get her away. It took a stone to punch her. <coughs> Oh, and she was right. You guys didn't have me. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is quite the Avenger on her own. But yeah, when they had to go, when they had to clear a path to get the Infinity Gauntlet, they're trying to get it back to I think the Hulk in order to uh, to try to fix all this again. Yep. No, they're trying to get it to Scott because Scott has found the original time machine. Yep. He's trying to get send the stones back in time again. Yep. Thanos unfortunately destroys. Th th Thanos destroys the van. Yeah. No. no! Da, 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 da. <laughs> That would be funny if it did that while it was getting blown up. <laughs> oh, dear. But that's the thing. They bring in everybody. The Wasp is there. Oh, yeah. The Wasp is there. Pepper's there in her armor. Uh, Who else is there? Oh, shit. Shit. Like, I'm sad the Defenders weren't there. Even though everyone would be like, who the hell are they? <laughs> who cares? Luke Cage, Luke Cage and fucking... Fucking, uh... Just... <sighs> Oh, just... By the theater was cheering when, uh, uh, when Black Panther showed up. Oh, yeah, I was one of them. Damn right. And Shuri was there with, with blasty things. Yep. Oh, man, and, uh, the women, the women shot of just all the women. Yeah, they got to clear a path, so all the women, yo, know, just like a panic shot, just adding more and more women, just like kicking ass all the way through. Oh, man. That was beautiful. It was awesome. I loved it. So eventually, uh, Thanos manages to fight back. He grabs the gauntlet. Tony comes in to to try to force the gauntlet off of him so he can get it himself. Uh, uh, during the fight, he, he, I, I, he like uh, Thanos snaps him away, uh, slaps him away. It's like I am inevitable. Uh oh! Tony grabbed all the stones off and put them on his, on, on his head, and I am Iron Man. Yes. <laughs> Snap, <sighs> Thanos and his army dusted. Oh, man. Who's going to clean all that up, all that dust? <laughs> so, in the end, so but unfortunately, uh, they established earlier that, use it, that the reason why the Hulk had to use the gauntlet earlier was because doing that power basically almost killed Thanos when he first did the snap. Yep. And, and the Hulk was the only one who could survive that kind of a hit again. Yeah, and Tony... Tony's just a dude in a suit of armor, so he gets blasted and he's dead. Yeah, it's a wonderful, very sh beautiful death. It's a... It was sad. I mean, I mean, Tony's dead. But when Pepper said, it's okay, we'll be okay, you can rest now. That, that part made me like, oh my god. Yeah. That part got to me. That part got to me. It's okay, you can rest now. I know that was that was beautiful. Yeah. Tony had a good death. I am satisfied with this end for Tony's arc. Everyone knew he was probably gonna die. Yeah, I thought Cap was gonna die honestly, but he got a a different, happier ending. So yeah, in the end, uh, uh, Scarlet Witch is is sorry, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch is still alive. Uh, Black Widow is still dead. Yeah. Vision is still dead. Yeah. Uh, now here's the thing where where we have a disagreement. Okay, so you know how. In the movie, Gamora is now brought to the future when Bad Nebula brought the whole Thanos ship. So, and you know, Good Nebula actually, you know, got her up to speed, even on who she hangs out with and her boyfriend. This and of guy. Course, yeah, uh, Peter's all like Gamora, and then you know, Gamora just like kicks his ass and was like, "This guy, really?" Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> so, yeah. And later on, as the Guardians were about to go off, you saw that uh, Peter was trying to look for Gamora on the computer or whatever. Mm. 
So, basically, the, you have Gamora's dead. The Gamora that they knew and loved, that they had all this character development with, is dead because of Soul Stone. But now you have past Gamora into the future that's just wandering around. And of course, Peter will still want to be with Gamora, but that Gamora does not have all the experience of her other self. So she's dead, but she's alive, but she doesn't have the memories of the one that you know. Yeah, past Gamora. Uh, your, your theory is that past Gamora is still running around somewhere. Yeah, and the Gamora that we had in the uh, Guardians movies is dead. Yes. My thing is, uh, they established earlier on by the via the Ancient One, the reason she didn't want to give up the Time Stone is like, well, if I give you the Time Stone, we're just going to create an alternate reality. It's not going to actually fix things. It's going to make things worse for my reality. And, and Bruce is like, no, no, we'll bring back the stones after we're done, after we're successful, and, 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 and we'll reestablish the timeline, make everything work. Now, that plan it does admittedly get screwed up when past Thanos brings all his troops into the future. Yes. And, the, and, the, and then when Tony turns to dust. My theory is that in order to preserve the timeline, uh, uh, the snap turned them to dust, but it did also restore the timeline. It, it, like, like the dust was just dramatic effect. It reverted them back to their original timeline. And I would say that Gamora and Nebula were brought, the and past Nebula were brought back but if with that. No, 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 let me, let me finish, let me finish. Now, the reason I say that's the case is because if they didn't, then there is no reason at the end for them to go back in time and return the stones. Well, they have to return the stones, so obviously your hypothesis is wrong. Well, otherwise, because oh, yeah, otherwise, the space-time continuum is circling. Well, is already circling the drain. So why bother bringing the stones back? That being said, Cap is the one who is elected to go back and put them back, and he decides, "Yeah, screw this. I'm going back in time, and I'm gonna get oh, go hang out with Peggy Carter, and get married, and get busy, and get old." And get old. It's like, wait, why isn't he coming back? Hey, look at the distance. Oh, he's sitting there on a bench and he's old now. And he <laughs> gives the shield over to Sam. Which was beautiful. And I'm like, oh, he's old. I knew that. Because I was like, okay, he's going back in time. He's going to come back in five minutes as an old guy. Yep. And, well, he didn't come back as an old guy. He just came back the long way around onto a bench. Yep. <sighs> so, either way, the space-time continuum is circling the drain. However, I still established that past Gamora is not in the future. Now, I could be wrong. Once we get Guardians of the Galaxy 3, we'll find out. Because chances are she's coming back one way or another. Past Gamora is... Well, she's in the future, which is now the present. I say Peter was searching for her in general because he thought maybe she came back to life along with everyone else. Because he wasn't around no, when... No, uh, uh, he's searching for that one. I think he's looking for, for present Gamora. But we will find out. Well, present Gamora is future Gamora. Uh, is you mean? And he's looking for her. Besides, Nebula is hanging out with the Guardians now, so... As is Thor. Now... Oh my god, Thor is a Guardian now! As Guardians of the Galaxy! Oh god, Thor as a gar Fat Thor as a gor Guardian. Yes, because we all know who's in charge. Yeah, it's me! Well, right, right, sure, sure. Oh my god, Fat Thor is a Guardian. He yes, you should, uh, should fight it out with knives! <laughs> Thank you, Mantis. Oh... Oh my god. Uh, it's good to have him back. Yeah. Uh, uh. It's good to see Drax just stab things and, and Rocket shoot things and Bucky shoot things and everyone shoot things. If there, there Another misstep that I think is that uh, uh, is we had a good character arc for Thor throughout his movies. Yeah, we did. We ha uh, Ragnarok was when it came to and where he... You know, got his destiny as ruler of Asgard's people. Hmm. He accepted that role and he, you know, did his best in that role. And now he just, after the trauma from Thanos, he'd gone backwards. He got became an alcoholic gamer loser. And did then he's, now he's back where he started where, you know, I don't want to be king. I'm just going to go around. Valkyrie, rule the Asgardians. I'm out. Yeah, it's, it's. Uh, that it's it's backwards character development after what 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 Taiki Watiti uh, uh, Taika Watiti did with him in Thor Ragnarok, and it's just because he became the kind of king they a new Asgard would need. Yeah, and I'm just like, really, we had all that. You just, I feel like it's just we wasted our time almost. I don't think we we wasted our time because this still feels like a continuation. It's just it feels like character reversion. Yeah, and I I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Even if, 
you know, we're probably going to have fun with uh, Thor and the, uh, as a guardian of the galaxy. Yep. But, uh, 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 Thor, why? Yeah. Well, at least Valkyrie's going to be a great queen. Indeed. And they're and they're and they're in Norway, like like where uh, Odin said would be a great new Asgard. Yep. <sighs> and and so yeah, the the the, the low key plot thread is up in the air. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Maybe the commenters will say it was explained in Agents of Shield or something. Or maybe you know it's gonna go into another movie. Mm. I mean, we look if Thor's with the Guardians, maybe look he's gonna be in Guardian Three. I do love during. There's no mid or end credit scene. Yeah, everyone stayed, and then like I heard there wasn't gonna be, but everyone stayed anyway. And I was like, uh, it started to look like it wasn't. I was like, okay, no one move. This might be a trap, <laughs> and everyone just laughed their ass off. <laughs> uh, but during the mid credits, because this is tech, this is kind of the uh, an end of an era. Yeah. Uh, uh, they did something very similar to Star Trek VI. Uh, where at the very end of that, when the original series cast stopped doing the movies uh, and had had everyone do their signature, yeah, uh, uh, you know, for for the main Avengers, yeah, and they the credits were there were so many people in those credits. Oh my god, so many people in those credits. But the movie was good. It was very it, good. This was, you know, this is exactly how I would be satisfied if there was never another MCU movie. Yeah. In fact, I kind of wish there wasn't going to be any other MCU movies because I feel like anything more would just cheapen this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to do with Phase Four. I'm pretty sure Far From Home is going to take place post. Uh, is going to be post uh, uh, End Game. Yeah, I just I don't I don't want there to be any more MCU movies. This was good. This is a great ending. We got to say a goodbye to Tony. We got to see Cap get his happy ending. Uh, you know, Natalie's dead. That sucks. Hulk finally um, found peace with himself. Hmm. Clint got his family back. And a mohawk. <laughs> yeah, no one comments on the hair. Eh. Everyone knows he's going through a crisis. My God, how funny would it have been if the sacrifice he had to make... Was his hair. Yes. He's like, he's like something you love. No, I'm not gonna... No, don't make me do it, Nat! <laughs> that would be great. Oh, I was man, hoping, I was hoping, great. You know, I was hoping they, they say a life for a life, and I was hoping maybe they would like you know toss the red skull in there or something. <laughs> uh, Wait, you have to love that life. Though. I know That's they established that love. love thing, but you know what? But 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 at this time, he only he said the big thing was a life for a life, a, a soul for a soul was basically it. it's like. So what you're saying is any soul will do. Well, I didn't say I didn't say that. I like toss him in there. Yeah, that would have been great. Notice how, how Cap still doesn't know the Red Skull's around. Well, he's kind of stuck on this planet. I know, guarding, but still. Guarding a, a, a thing. So, uh, yeah. Now he's guarding nothing, because the Soul Stone ain't there anymore. Well, it'll, it'll be put back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, uh, uh, Thor became a, a space slacker again. Yep. Uh, let's see. The Guardians are back together sans Gamora, because Gamora's like... I'm not the Gamora you know. Peace. So either way, Guardians is going to be about reclaiming Gamora and, and doing some interesting things in Guardians 3. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, Pepper's husband's dead. Their Ro daughter's adorable. Rocket is just great in this movie. I love him throughout. Yeah. Uh, Wakanda is back. Hey, 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 Thor. Come a little closer on me. Come a little... <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one who lost people, pal. <laughs> Oh, God. They went back into the old movies. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, it helped justify Thor the Dark World a bit more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I love uh, him. Th we actually do see Loki in the foreground in the in, in his cell. And, like, like Rocket and, 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 and future Thor walk past. And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just, oh. This was a movie gasm. It was beautiful. That was great. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I am also so happy. Everyone was happy. Avengers, 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 uh, Avengers, Avengers. Let's see, for trailers. Avengers, Avengers, Avengers. All in all, just go see it. Avengers, Avengers. You know what trailers did we get? Uh, Secret Life of Pets 2. Yeah. 
dog. This is dog town. There's big dogs or small dogs, but in the end, we're all dogs. You gotta believe, believe in, in yourself. yourself. Okay, just gotta go into your YouTube search bar and look up Dog Town. It is hilarious. Dog Town in theaters yes, forever. Because why, why not? not? <laughs> Uh, we got Star Wars. Got Star Wars. That looks beautiful. Yep. It was the same trailer that they showed at um, Celebration like, yep. uh, a couple weeks ago. Yep, yep. Uh, what else did we get? Mm. Oh, we got that uh, that Gemini Man thing with Will Smith. He looks Fresh Prince, man. I'm sure that's deliberate. Because I know, of... but Fresh Prince, man. Uh, we got uh, MI MIB International. Which yep. is Valkyrie and Thor fighting aliens in suits. Hell yeah, Tessa Thompson. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, Tessa Thompson and Brie Larson want to do a buddy team up between Valkyrie and Captain Marvel. What else did we get? We got uh, we got some we got this Chadwick Boseman film where he's like uh, fighting cop killers. Yep. Uh, like 21 Bridges, I think is what it's called. Yeah, something like that. Uh, let's see. Like What did Nash call it? Uh, inf infinity Trailers? Yeah, oh. Uh, we got something else, and now I can't even remember. I'm sure we're forgetting. Oh, yeah, we got Lion King, that boredom fest. Ugh. I love the original Lion King. And what... This CG Lion King looks... It just looks horrible. It's... There's no emotion. Cats have emotion. Big cats have emotions. They show them. All you have is... It's, there's, there's, like, there's a great Tumblr post going around showing great examples of, of taking animals and adding animation. And maybe the final movie will have that. But they're not doing a great job representing the, tra you, with the trailers right now, because it makes it look like everything is stone-faced. And I'd rather, look, we have Lion King, we don't need a new Lion King. They're the new, the, the, the live action, live action remakes are now, are the new Disney sequels. Yeah, we don't need an Aladdin one. We didn't need a Dumbo. We don't need any of them. Just cut it. Mm. All right, there, I, we We're did... never going to have the... The renaissance has happened. It's gone. Leave it alone. So, uh, any final thoughts on Endgame? I'd appreciate it more if it was the end. Because I really think that... I know we're going to have Phase 4. I know we're going to have more MCU movies... But I feel like anything more will just kind of cheapen what we got right now. Mm. Does that make sense? A bit, yeah. Where are they going to follow up on the Sokovia Accords? Nah. Well, yeah. I suppose after when you when you save three three billion people. Yeah. You know, let's just uh, you know recycle bin. <laughs> just not everyone had a happy ending, but. But here's the funny thing: both Vision and and Scarlet Witch are, and and uh, uh, Black Widow are coming back because uh, they already announced WandaVision uh, for Disney Plus for for one of their new shows. We got Sam and we got uh, Falcon and, and Bucky. Yeah, Disney Plus is going to have some interesting times with some of this. And we know the Black Widow's movie's coming out. Maybe it's a different Black Widow. We're gonna get a Black Panther two. We're gonna get Far From Home. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of superhero movied out. I mean, mm. just still... the last two months, we had so many. We had Captain Marvel. We, we Shazam. We still haven't seen Shazam. We're gonna see. We gotta still see Shazam. There's something else coming out. Uh, we got Star Wars in December, which is not superhero, but still. Yeah, it's just I feel like I'm almost superhero movied out because I feel like I've been going to them too often. I haven't seen Aquaman. As a DVD extra, we gotta have the one dude from Ant Man explaining yes. the entire Michael history. Pena. Michael Pena explaining the history of the MCU. Yes, please do that. Marvel, please do that as an extra on the Blu ray DVD. Oh man, how great would have been if he's there, if he was there during. <laughs> well, I was like, <laughs> what hey, was he gonna do? I know, I was just like, what the hell, man? I, what am I even doing here? <laughs> My man! <laughs> Oh, they had they had the wasp hanging out, and they had everybody. Oh, Doctor Strange called all these people he'd never met before. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Yeah, I have no idea who the hell they are, but screw it, he needs them. <laughs> he saw the future. He saw the future. I kind of wish we got also like people from Nova Corps. In it. I was kind of expecting that too. Yeah, like you just brought Nova Corps out out here. Okay, let's mm. go into this portal and uh, kick some butt. 
We don't know where it is, man. Where, where are we going, man? Doesn't matter. Let's defeat De Thanos. <laughs> oh, man. Captain Marvel's just so OP, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And she got a haircut. Yep. She got the short hair now. She got the short hair, and she looks good in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <sighs> no, I still can't believe she no-sells the headbutt. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, God. What, what are we going to do now? We watched Endgame, and I was looking forward to it for months. What now? We gotta wait for Rise of Skywalker. Uh, will it ever end? Phase four, we gotta have Squirrel Girl. We gotta have Miss Marvel. We gotta have Rom. I don't care if Hasbro owns the license again. We need Rom. Rom the Space Knights, best of the Soul Star Order. Rom must return. We got and and maybe we did create an alternate timeline. This is how we're gonna explain X Men and Fantastic Four and stuff, you know, in in the proper timeline. <sighs> I'm just movied out. All the excitement. I'm dead. Was it good for you too? Oh, okay. Another question we thought up in the car. So the Hulk, right? He's very attractive. I I think I'm in love with a uh, Banner Hulk. Or bulk, as we call it. The the incredible bulk. So, actually, I don't think I can say this without you getting demonetized. I mean, usually you can only do that if, like, it's an issue, I think, in the first 30 seconds of the video. So please, explain where your mind goes. So one, I want to hit that. Two, is it green cream? Good night, everybody. Go see Endgame, it's very good. Why Why do you love me? Because you make me smile. <laughs>